Well, by clicking onto the video, obviously you already know what we are getting ourselves into. Let's clear up the elephant in the room really quick. Well, the EV market, it's never really been a conversation that us petrol heads really want to talk about because, well, let's be real, it's uninteresting, unappealing, and to be quite honest, it's bland, okay? Um, it's definitely a soulless piece of engineering, at least to me. Um, but is that the manufacturer's fault or is that the actual market's fault? Well, to be fair, it was never really catered for us petrol heads. But then what happens when you have a legendary brand such as Porsche who decides, hey, you know what? We want a piece of the action. Well, here it is. This is the all new, all electric Porsche Taycan. As you can see, it's got the curves, it's got the low profile, very sporty look to them. It's got all the characteristics of what a Porsche should be. But then this one is obviously very, very different. Well, it's evolved. It's powered by an 800 volt battery. Let's get into it. First impressions, and I feel like with anything that you do in life, first impressions is always going to be the one thing that has the biggest impact on you. So what I get when I'm sitting in the Taycan now is, yes, surely it is super futuristic. The design is beautiful. It is very modern and up to date um, with the infotainment system that stretches right in front of your eyes in the cockpit all the way to the passenger side. And it's the quality, it's the craftsmanship that goes into here. I feel it, there's no creaks. I can press the dash, I can press the majority of the components in the interior and none of them make a single sound. And that is the power that Porsche has over a lot of the other manufacturers. And that's what I'm gonna say and I will leave that there. Um, definitely has all the bells and whistles that you would expect coming off of a car that is just shy off of $200,000. So is that necessarily a good thing if it means us losing the beastly roar of the petrol engine that comes out of the Porsche? Well, I'm going to keep it simple and sweet. This might as well be the future in our glimpse into what motorsport is going to be in the future. So without further ado, I'll put this car in drive. It's still crazy at how quiet this car is. Foots on the pedal, I can hear that little weary noise coming from the battery and the power of this car. This is an odd feeling. And mind you, not even for one second did I ever lose the sense of feeling that I am that I'm driving a Porsche. And that is an experience in itself. So from the get-go now, the power is there. And, I, and I, I'm gonna be truthful with you guys now. My main approach for this test drive is gonna be the performance. I'm a petrol guy, so I mean, I'm a petrol head, I would like to consider that. And you know, I build a lot of the petrol cars out, the combustion cars. So this is, you know, a way for me to kind of open my eyes and maybe accept, you know, the EV market because this is where we're heading. Cornering is definitely one of the things that I want to test out because the Porsche is a fairly heavy car. The Taycan is a very heavy car. So we'll put that to the test now. Right now I'm in the normal setting and already the power is quite impressive. Handling <laughs> this car for a car that weighs two tons, it has no business of being this nimble and agile through the corners. And mind you, this car weighs more than a lot of your standard SUVs out there. And this car has, it has the driving capabilities of a Porsche. Oh man, the torque is there. And I feel like that's what uh, EV cars are known for is the, the stop and go power, right? Because the power is essentially just at your disposal, at the pedal. As soon as you step on it, it just goes. Now, when you are out looking to put together your own Taycan, you actually have tons of different options when you're configuring your Taycan. So uh, 
just an example, you have 17 color, standard color choices that you could choose from. And if you were to do the paint to sample um, side of that, then you that opens up to 65 more color options for you. So you can essentially create something that you can create your own portion. I feel like that's a, the neat part of that. Um, this car is equipped with lots of pretty cool and neat technology that even for me is impressive so it's uh, the Porsche recuperation management which allows you to regenerate about 90% from the braking itself so you can essentially uh, recuperate about a third of your uh, energy from just the braking technology that is crazy that's technology for you so driving it in normal mode even just the normal mode the car is far from being sluggish it's by far one of the I would say in the normal mode one of the quickest you know normal setting cars that I've ever driven that is actually pretty quick so that I feel like should speak volumes but like I've mentioned before the one thing that I'm here to test out I'm, I'm gonna be upfront with you guys is definitely the performance right so what better way to do that than to put the car in Sport Plus so Sport Plus um, everything tightens up the suspension um, you get definitely more of a you get that you get that oomph in the driving feel in this car so I'm in Sport Plus I'll give it a, you know I'll, I'll go wide open throttle I'll do it in three two one <laughs> I'm telling you right now this is insane this car is so powerful and it's definitely not in a traditional way I'm used to hearing the loud whining noises coming from the transmission the roar from the engine yes I'm used to that but the fact that this car is so quiet is what throws me off of my my seat because this is I can't comprehend how ridiculous this thing feels So the base model Taycan is, uh, it, it's capable of going zero to 100 kilometers an hour and uh, 5.4 seconds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it by doing a launch control. Ready? Launch control activated. Three, two, one. Oh, it's a pit in the stomach feel. Just like that, that, it's ridiculous. I, I am lost for words at how insanely crazy that feels. The best way for me to, to describe it, it's literally you having your stomach in the back seat. And I've said that before, but this, it has, you know, an extra little punch to your stomach. Because I think one of the biggest things that makes you feel that way is the fact that it, you can't hear anything. So your focus is strictly on to the feeling of the speed rather than, oh, it's loud, you're distracted. No, your brain is literally trying to comprehend, trying to comprehend, sorry, that you're going this fast and it's so quiet. Impressive. This is an evolution um, to Porsche for sure. The base model Taycan is also uh, the out, the power output is to the rear wheel. So this car is rear wheel drive. It behaves like one. So when you're going through the corners, you can feel the little back end kind of you know it tickles you a little bit. Like hey, if you go a little bit more, I will slide out. And people have done that. They have drifted this car um, on special circuits. Like, I mean on special uh, circumstances, obviously. And it's capable of doing that. And to think that electric cars can do that is mind blowing. Porsche. If this is gonna be the new face of EV, then count me in.